City, Saturday at 4.30, 3.30 Central on ABC Wide one. World of Sports. A crash, Bobby. Crash down in turn one. One car. One car, that's Kent's all the wall is. down to the inside. The crews are already there. The rest of the field slows. There is some debris up on the track. Masuda. And Daisy Masuda, the first rookie to qualify, first car to go out in qualification. I just happened to be looking up, Paul, at the track. Is this happened? It looked like he just lost the rear end coming off. Gone, hit the wall. Doesn't look like it was all that bad. Blue, the blimp spirit overhead for that shot. There's the replay. Lost it coming off at turn one, slammed the wall, and then just slid down to the inside. But again, look at all that trash that flies off the track around there. We got to watch for flat tires from the other cars. That's the biggest fear that they have. Bobby, but how much trash is down in that area as we look at another replay of this accident? Really doesn't look that bad. Guys, sorry to interrupt you. We got another one up here in turn three. We have another accident in turn three. This is an accident after the yellow? Yes, they're down here. It might have been that debris that we're talking about. He might have lost a tire. And that's John Paul Jr. There's a flat tire that you can see. Most likely. That doesn't mean it was caught by the debris, but, but uh, Danny's probably right. They run over debris. They have a flat tire to go in the next turn. And wow, we the car just takes off. Well, Bobby, that's exactly why I asked you, because it's... And look oh. at this. Paul Tracy. Smoke Paul out Tracy. of the Mercedes of Paul Tracy. Now, Tracy was back in 13th place. He was not probably positioned to win the race. But this could be the first weakness shown by the Mercedes program. All right, let's go back. We'll keep track of Tracy. Here is the car 45, the John Paul situation. Boy, oh, lost it way early. That almost uh, definitely confirms that Danny saw. What's this? What's this? There's Mansell. Nigel Mansell under. Unbelievable. Nigel Mansell and Great. Dennis Patolo. Why? How did they get to this point? An unbelievable After the situation. Yellow. What is going on? The yellow light's been on for several laps. That this is on the pit road. That's but interesting that Mansell and I think Al Jr. were the first guys through were the first guys through the uh, accident. Maybe they picked up a puncture too. Yeah. Nigel Nine. Mansell decides to get out because there was fire on the back of the car. And, and remember, this is methanol that's burning and you can't see it. Sam, that's, that's uh, oil that's burning right there, not methanol. You could see it. It's right underneath the engine there. Yeah, but what about Mansell? One of the firemen saw something and I went to just totally envelop Mansell. Maybe he thought that Mansell was on fire or saw some of those flames that we can't see from methanol. Bobby, I saw the oil fire, but then so suddenly Mansell seemed to leap forward as if something else. That's why I suppose that maybe the methanol had ignited. That's because everybody is screaming fire. He wasn't in a hurry until everybody starts screaming. And he also knows methanol fires are almost invisible to him. Well, but Bobby, he is on the ground. Bobby, it's it not an easy climb been, out. It could have been, too, if his radiator was punctured. Don't forget that'll take time until it seeps into the back of the cockpit. And he could have all of a sudden got the hot water. Which feels like fire, right? Exactly. Yeah. And maybe burns worse. It's not very often we see one car on top of the other. This is really a terrible looking possible accident there. On the warm up lane, and we hurt. still have no idea how these two cars, Vitolo and Mansell, got there well after the yellow. Let's get an update from Gary in the Mansell pit. I'll tell you, Paul, this team is devastated down here because they were elated when that initial yellow came out. They were going back on the lead lap. They were right back in the race. Then suddenly, Linkley after the yellow, here's the problem for Mansell. They have ridden the roller coaster right to the bottom of the pit right now. Well, Gary, remember, the Newman Haas team has never managed to win Indy, and they've been competitive year after year since they started in 1993, 83. I'm worried about Nigel Mansell. He is in great discomfort there. Nigel and Jacques Villeneuve were both about to make up a lap, taking advantage of the yellow that came out. And then this happened, and we still don't have a clear understanding of why it happened. I think, obviously, Paul, that he got hurt in the accident. He was just sitting there for a while, hoping that somebody come helping out, help him out, and then he either felt that hot water that Danny was talking about, or somebody was hollering fire. Well, he got out, no matter how much pain he had. Bobby, your heart just goes out to Nigel, who's been hurt so often in racing one way or another. That bad accident at Phoenix last year, which he bravely overcame to finish third here in this race, and now this. Well, let's swear the camera comes back. And he gets hit from behind. 
That's what it looks like. We'll still ride with this videotape from Nigel Mansell's camera. Mansell's still sitting over. there. Go ahead, Danny. His head's laid over a little bit to the left. I don't understand that. Yeah, could he was be dazed? Here's the smoke. Fire starting in the back of the car. That's the oil smoke. It's from Dennis Patolo's car, though, I believe. There's a little oil dripping down. You could see that. That's why it was burning with a yellow flame. Nigel takes off the steering wheel so that he can get out. Now he's slow. And See, I think the water or something came through there, and all of a sudden he realized he was getting burned. There's See, the water. Out, the water's spitting out. That's from the radiator, I believe, of either his car or somebody else's. Also, it's from the fire extinguishers. Here is Michael Andretti's onboard camera. Maybe we can get a view from this camera, the same situation. No, that's really John Paul Jr. That was John Paul Jr., the first spin under the yellow. Now that's one that you would just have to... Here is the Valvoline race summary for those of you entered in the Valvoline Indy 500 giveaway. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's see if we can get to Nigel Mansell. Nigel Mansell. Here we go. Yes, sir. Jerry, go ahead. Here in the garage, we're back in the... Nigel Mansell has come out of the infield here, so Nigel, first of all, are you okay? I don't feel great. I've got a bit of concussion and I've uh, just upset all the medical people because they want me to go to the hospital and I don't. So if they want to take my license away, that's fine with me because I've never seen anything such, such a joke as what we just had out there. We're under yellow for a lap and a half. Someone tries to take my head off. Have you spoken with Dennis Patolo and I to see exactly what, uh, what went on, what happened? Uh, you speak to him. Obviously an upset Nigel Mansell holding his right shoulder. And uh, they wanted him to go down to Methodist Hospital for x-rays, but as you heard Nigel say, he would have no part of that. He has climbed in the golf cart, and he and Carl Haas, Paul Newman and company, will head back to Gasoline Alley. Paul? An understatement to suggest that Mansell is furious.